Okay guys, today we're gonna take a look at a software called Waifu2x. Now that name comes from, if I understand it right, some kind of anime stuff. If you know what it is, please drop it in the comments below and let me know what does that even, what, what is the meaning of that? Anyway, besides that, this is the software itself developed in a very simple way and we will drop one anime brutally bad video one regular video but and one picture shot at night with a lot of noise first video will have a lot of pixelation second video will have a lot of noise and third will be a picture with a lot of noise and we'll see what this software can actually do for us and it is very simple here now this is free but if you want the full version that has more jingles and bells you can just go ahead right here and you can donate to them uh, as far as i understand it's not a set price but you can just make a donation at their uh patreon and that's it and you can support them and here is the home where you can drop files and you do the settings here are the engine settings that you can go with uh kugan beta srmd anime 4k which that's what we are gonna try then video settings you can do segments you can do jpeg lossless which that's what i'm gonna leave it at and all the good stuff image settings additional settings and compatibility tests that will run on your computer to let you know if your card can actually work or not like rtx super Revolution, Kugan, MC, NCN, and Vulcan, and all that good stuff. Besides the words, now let me drop the first and start with the anime. Now the original quality of this anime is quite brutal. As you see, this is the screen. And let me minimize this so you guys can see. And if I open it full screen, which as you see, there's a lot of blurriness and you can barely even see sometimes. So we're gonna take it out of here, take it out of its misery and drop it right here and see what it can do for us. Now we go to engine settings and we're gonna go to anime 4K, animated image. No, we need the video anime 4K by the way here and the image, we just need a real image. That's all we need right here. The converter, I'm gonna leave it as it is because that's 2D anime, right? We don't have a 3D and we go back home. I'm gonna put the uh, test where I have the other uh, files stored so I'm just gonna copy the folder and put it back right here so it saves it right here and everything else should be the same way as it is and I'm gonna hit start and let's see now what it can do for us whether it will uh, make it into a better anime or a worse anime And as we see here, the process just finished. It actually didn't take that long, even though I sped up the video, but it has finished. Now let's take a look at what has it done. So now here we are. This was the original and this is the one that it did for us. W2XE, yep, that is the video that is done. I'm not sure if you guys can see that. If I blow it up this way, you see some of the pixels gone now is it perfect no there are other settings that you can redo here and make it better but actually from where it started with pixels and all that as you see right here in the original actually it had pixelation this one it kind of smoothed it out completely and it's a little bit bigger now i can go and redo it again with a uh, better uh, settings and all that and by the way while i was waiting for this video i checked what waifu meant and yeah that's why i'm freeze framing here anyway in my opinion it actually did a great job look at that it did the sharpness it did it did a lot of good stuff especially if you tinker with the settings a little bit better because it actually has a lot of potential to repair a lot of videos and make them way better than they were before. And now let's get rid of this one. We are done with it. And the second video will be a VHS tape video. Yes, converted from VHS to digital. And yes, you see the tape lines going through it. It's just a driving video and nothing really special about it. And we'll throw this one in the waifu thingy. 
and see what it can do for us now let me put this one here and we're gonna try that ai magic what they're called because now everybody calls things ai even if they're not so we're just gonna go with the flow the settings for animated image we don't need we're gonna go with this one and we're just gonna leave it on the regular one let's go here at, at uh, home and we go video frame interpolation only because that's what we mostly need here i'm gonna do well 3d real life yes i guess do nothing when finished static images as jpeg 1920 by 1080 yes applied and i think this everything is good so far so i'm just gonna leave it on quick engine switch so it will count uh switch to what it needs and now we're gonna go with uh, start and see what it takes So it just finished, uh, as you see right here, total one, finished one, failed zero, which is really good. Now let's go and check how the video actually looks. Okay, and here was the original. Here's the new one with a W2X, whatever the name they put on it. Uh, there is a, a very slight difference, not really anything tremendous. There is kind of a smoothness to the camera jittering, and I see the trees look a little bit smoother if you notice that. And it didn't do too much, but I think it actually made it a little bit better. So I wanted to give it a real duty. But I think overall, it actually did a pretty good job. Now, the third and last one will be a picture that I took at uh, at night. It's just a regular picture here at the beach, but it looks really good so far, except for all this noise right here and too dark here down at the sand. I just wanna see what this software can do for this one. I am not expecting a lot, the picture is actually quite a good quality for a phone picture and we're gonna take a look at what it does now there is a million settings here that you can change i will leave a link in the description where you can download it and uh, you check it but for me i'm just gonna give these simple samples so we can see what it does and we're gonna hit start Okay, the file just finished uh, doing its thingy. Total one, finished one, failed zero. That is great news. We are gonna close this one because we are done now. This is our last file. And uh, yes, I really want to exit. And now here is the file and let me open the original. I personally don't see a big difference here. This is the original. This is the repaired or edited. Original, repaired. Now what I notice, this is the original. Focus here on this noise only right here where you see the mouse right now and see how it kind of smooths out more like a bokeh style when I click the one. As you see, that part here may be a little bit here but overall the noise is still kind of here i was expecting it to kind of inject almost like the autofill that's what i expected but when you compare it to the original maybe on the buildings there is just a little bit of noise that was repaired a little bit i would say on the ai version and yeah there are some differences but very subtle differences not really huge with that said link will be in the description i hope you like anything at all on this video and the intention was just to bring it to your attention and now you can go tinker with it and take a look at it what it can do for you with that said i hope you enjoyed it and i hope you give me a like and subscribe and we'll see you next time bye